What is going on, people? Welcome. Johnny here, and we're going to start a new RimWorld playthrough. We're going to do royalty. My goal is to get the royal victory. And one of the big focuses of this is all the vanilla expanded mods, which are a lot of fun, and we're going to work those in. So I'm looking forward to it, in fact. <laughs> Um, you can see what I have here. Just give it a pause. Some of like Maraf is the first mod I made. It just adds an animal. Mine at all. Just a couple useful things. Sandcastles. Facial stuff's fun. Makes the game a little more enjoyable. Real Ruins is cool. And Blueprints in case I keep building the same stuff over and over again. And then a bunch of vanilla expanded stuff, which is really cool. So... I wonder if you need vanilla furniture expanded at the top there. That may cause a restart. Either way, we got fishing expanded, hair expanded, all kinds of stuff we can do. Boats, that'll be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll make a boat and go do some sailing. That would be super fun. So <laughs> Fahrenheit and Celsius for all you people that are sensible with your temperature readings. Anyway, that's what we have. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to do Crash Landed. We'll do Savage. I'm going to go ahead and do Cassandra. I always do Randy, so let's mix it up a bit. And let's see. The inspiration for this playthrough is that I'm sick of working on mods all the time. I never play the game. So let's go ahead and use Sick of Modding as a seed. We're going to name the pawns after my patrons. I'll give them a shout out right now while this loads. Alexander, Viking, Brandon, Cobra, Samurai, Cornel B, Dapper, Go, Dirtle, Dave, Thalburn, Frederick, Henry Wallace, Howard Chan, Josh Grace, Michael Rake, Straw, Wake, Mata, President Luck, Seamus, Shiggy, Tyronix, Typhios, Adam Bartnikowski, and Axum Yellow. You guys are awesome. The rest of you, I don't know. If you're enjoying the mods I make, please consider some support. It does make a difference. At the very least, if you're enjoying this video, please give me a like, leave a comment. That is one mightily... Ooh, so we want to be by the ocean. I'd like to be in a desert or an arid shrubland somewhere. I'd like to be by some neighbors as well. And if we're going to build boats, we're probably going to need a shite ton of trees is the next issue. So we have tropical rainforest. I don't want to be by all these dirty old pirates. What might be in southern coast? Is this, yeah, that's tropical rainforest. I like to be somewhere where it gets cold as well. I'm going to poke around a bit here. All right, this spot looks good. It's in the far south. Where the hell did it go? There we are. Let's jump in there. All right, now for pawns, what do we want? Somebody's going to end up being royalty. So if we take somebody that isn't very good at dumb labor, that's okay. But in that case, they have to be social because they will be promoted through the royalty tree i'm gonna poke around here i don't have prepared carefully so i'll just randomize a bit and see what i can come up with all right i will say the haircuts that get added are just awesome like look how funny this dude looks vanilla hair expanded is great check out her hair there's some really awesome options so anyways let's jump in i just poked around with that for a while Tried to find people that didn't have injuries. We're sorely lacking in shooting ability, which is a problem. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can get by. All right, let's go take a look then. So we know we want to be by the ocean for building ships. There's four of them selected. Ooh, this might be a really great starting point. Maybe we can block this off, bring this around wonder if we can sail a ship out of here if we have to be up there. I guess we're going to worry about that later. For now, I think we'll settle down here. Sadly, the only fertile soil is like over here. Maybe we just settle over here. I want to be in the mountain, though. Being fully aware of the risks that come along with that, I think that's going to be fun to sort of do a half in the mountain, half out thing. Now, do I have allow everything? Boom. Yeah, we have all kinds of great stuff here. All right. What's that? There's silver right there. I'm going to get some basic stuff set up here. 
Okay, so I set up the work tab. You can pause if you want to see that. I also set up a wall. So once I get that wall done, we should be able to get some roof kicked over here. Set up the priorities such that they should just get right on top of that. Maybe we even mine some tunnels through so we can come out over here and build our ships. Really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then what we want to do, select all wood, select all steel. Should be some meals around here somewhere. There they are. Select all meals. Get those hauled. There's only seven. Some ship chunks laying about. We can grab those when we're ready. All right, I think we're good. So what I'm going to do is get our constructor to not haul as number one priority. And all the stuff that they're dropping here should be hauled as well, except for these. Now, let's get our gear put on as well. You're a melee three, you're a three, you're a four. So this dude is going to be our melee bro. Where'd that knife just go? I swear I saw it. There it is. All right, you are a zero shooter. You are a zero shooter. <laughs> this should be really entertaining when we get raided. It's going to come down to us defending ourselves. I'm going to get this guy kitted up because he's going to be jumping into the fight every time. And I do have to rename these guys after the patrons, so let me do that. Okay, I just started at the top of the list, so there you go. And those pants need to be hauled as well. We're getting that roof going. We're going to need some sleeping spots. Let's get that thing chopped out as well. And who's our plant cutter? You are. Let's turn down your hall plus to get that accomplished as well. Furniture. We want sleeping spots. Boom, boom, boom. Temperature wise, it's okay at the minute. It's a little bit chilly, but we could incorporate this in here if we need to for additional or for some warmth. Right now it is cold. Let's do that, and then we can leverage that, stay warmer. And how many meals do we have? We have this dog. I don't know what to do with him. Not a big fan of animals in RimWorld. We could also set up some space. Oh, let's get some rice going. Hopefully we can get a crop before winter lands. And I guess we should probably get a table as well, but I'm going to wait for the walls to go up. And then we'll just make a base like over here that has an exit over here, and then we can... Oh, shit, what's that? Okay, those are getting hauled already. Hopefully the animals don't eat them before we get them. Come on, get busy on those walls. She's had enough for the day. Let's also go ahead and get some wrecks started. Yeah, that should be good. I guess we can give the dog a spot. You know he's just going to get killed. It's going to be terribly sad. And that should get us a nice little inside spot. So once everything gets hauled, which is going to be what we let them do next, there are plenty of animals here that we can get a hold of we can also set up some windmills over here maybe we do our first tunnel through here set up some windmills on the beach I'm gonna leave all those ship chunks right now we have three of them total on the map I do want to get some power going though it's a bit problematic considering the tiny space we have to work with there are gonna be lots of trees here so maybe we just go ahead set up a wood generator it's going to produce some heat so I think that's okay and we'll get some furniture we could do wall lights at this point already that's great we'll let it go for now yeah, it's way too warm in here as you can see so let's go ahead and typically the way you deal with that is just remove a tile over that 
I don't know where she went. <laughs> How much steel? So we have over a thousand steel. That's insane. It's a great place to start. It looks like they've got everything hauled here. And we're going to need a bunch of wood, but there's plenty around, so we can do some tree chopping as well. That should get somebody busy on that. Yeah, we're going to be getting slept in the heat. Let's block that off. And I guess we can also remove those roofs. Alex was our constructors. Let's just have her take that down. I don't know why it's staying so hot in this room. <laughs> that sucks. Let's see. Cleaning zone. Oh, you can set it equal to one of your existing zones. I see what it's doing. Well, we're not going to be doing any cleaning very soon anyways, but let's get some basic furniture stood up as well. I think that's going to be important just to keep the moods up. And hopefully somebody will fuel that thing in the morning. And what do we need? Some stools would be great. And we don't have to worry about wood. I don't think we're going to ever have a wood shortage here. Somebody, oh, they must be sick from the crypt sleep stuff. All right, so it did stay warm. They probably got slept in the heat, right? Slept on the ground, disturbed sleep, ravenously hungry. Now there's your table, so we have that problem solved. And our light should come on here. No go. Why aren't we getting any light? <laughs> This might be generating heat. All right, let's go check our power grid. There's your issue right there. Nothing's connected. All right, we have light. Now, let's set up our mining first. So I want to see like people come in and there's this like super cool looking royal castle facade. Wouldn't mind doing some fishing. We get meat that way, but one step at a time. So our first mining endeavor is going to be to clean this up. And I'll leave that wall there. Clean this up. And I want to get some windmills going on the beach. So I think we'll tunnel through here. That should be good for now. Can't really protect them, but hopefully we don't need to. And we have everybody set to mine at various degrees. So once this guy's done with the planting, we're also going to want a bench for breaking down stone. So let's, we'll set somebody to that. So as they make stone blocks, they'll get broken down. Then we don't have a ton of them sitting around. So we'll have a stone cutter's table. I think I'll put it there. Now, Alex should stop what she's doing and go work on that. Indeed, see? Supplies are doing great. So let's go ahead and say make any stone block forever, but let's give it a short radius. Just like our general home zone here. And we do need somebody capable of crafting. So you are doing what? You are currently mining. Let's see if you switch gears. Wait, which pawn is this? This is Brandon. What's Brandon working on? Brandon's our planter. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So when he's done getting that in the ground, come over here and he should start breaking these chunks down. And we have some super miners. That was one of the things I paid attention to to make sure we had... And look at that, an electric stone cutter's table. Interesting. So those are some of the updated production items, which I haven't even explored yet. I'm literally just playing the game the way I know how at the minute. Well, let's make this uh, normal's fine. Clear. I want stone chunks there. There you go. And then once in a while... We can just set a priority haul job on these and they'll get put away. 
Now, next bet, I think we do some tree chopping and gather up some wood. It'd be nice to have some basic furniture. We'll make better furniture later. Not out of wood, unless something turns out really nice. So he should go over there and deal with that. And hopefully we can get people to keep this place relatively clean. And then once we get a bunch of blocks built up, I want furniture big time. Doesn't really matter where you put it. They're going to get disturbed sleep right now. So this room has the benefit of being really big. Oh, we did just lose a roof somewhere. Where did that happen? Right there. Well, good thing no one was standing there. Uh, let's go ahead and put a couple of support walls in. Alex, I would have anticipated you doing construction. There, take that. <laughs> At least they're not on the ground, so we're already meeting basic needs. So we'll get a decent section mined out. And we'll plan like some bedrooms, cook rooms. The cook room's obviously gonna have to go up front here. We'll do some more mining out here. Maybe we'll put the cooking and food storage over here because you need somewhere to vent your air conditioners. And I'd like to leave some natural walls in place as well. And we're getting a bunch of trees. Brandon is set to haul at too high of a priority. <laughs> yeah, let's go three on that. Let's get somebody doing some cleaning as well. So who is not mining as a top priority? You're a constructor. So if you're not constructing or mining, I guess I want you cleaning. And then let's set up a zone that we can set as the clean zone. So let's go ahead and manage rename area to keep clean and then we'll expand that out just to cover the area we want cleaned it'll get bigger later and then our cleaning zone mod puts this little thing down here so we can say clean and our cleaner should go around and keep that area clean I'm glad I took some miners because they're making quick work of this. What's our inside temp? 61. So it is pretty cold. What if we what if we held this door open? There's gonna be a happy medium here. So this is considered outdoors, I think. Why is it telling me something's unroofed? Let's go check our roof zone. Ah because we've done some mining. There you go. And then let's build a roof over part of this and see if we can't pull some heat in. It only shoots out heat when it erupts. Erupts? Whatever. You get the idea. Still not working. All right, more roof. The fact that this little room is no warmer is indicative of the fact that it's not doing anything. All right, now we're at 70, and in here, over 70. Oh, well, it also warmed up outside. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's, there's a way to use those for that. Clearly, it's not what it should be, but I love having these miners. This is so great. It's almost like a dwarf playthrough, which once I get the huge dwarf update done for the rim hammer mod, I'm going to do another one of those, and it's going to be freaking glorious. And... How are we doing for meals? We have 33. So hopefully we can get a cooking area done before we get all that rice. We have a visitor. Doesn't have anything to trade. We don't really care then. I try and focus on most of the inside area first. However, I do want the cooking and food storage areas up too. Let's check this dude. He's got a little beret on it looks like. He's got a gun, too. <laughs> it looks like uh, British Special Forces, I think. Yeah, that is a British F Special Forces, dude. That's what I'm calling him. There you go. All right, let's check some needs and make sure there's not something simple we can do. Awful barracks, sweaty. Bloody hell. Now it's like a billion degrees in here. All 
Uh, that probably doesn't help any. <laughs> you know, maybe if we just hold the door open. I wish that dude would come inside right now. You, go outside. Now come in. Yeah, I'm temp. Yeah, look at that. He came in. Well, it cooled out a bit. It's still cooling down. Whenever it erupts again. All right, the visitor is bailing from our dose. That's Spanish for hour two. <laughs> and temperatures are a little hot yet. It's okay. Why don't you come work out here? How are we doing for blocks so far? We have 320 granite. That's a freaking great start. This thing might be making heat too. Is this a heat pusher? Doesn't say that it is. Eh, whatever. All right, well, things are going well so far. Okay, so I think our next big push here is going to be security. So there's only one way into our little area over here. And we're going to have to pay attention to the fact that when we mine out over here, we could have issues as well. But for now, I think we can just do some fence like that. And then if we need to get out, we'll just go this way. And let's get some security put into place right away. We have tons of steel. I hate the fact that with, with any added wall, you can't just drop a door into it. You have to delete the wall section first. I've added a few different walls myself, and I could not work through that issue no matter what I did. So let's get rid of that one. No, you know what? I want that one. What am I doing? Okay, and then we'll put some traps in too and some doors. So next up we'll get, oh, there's a bear trap there. What do you think that's about? If there's any trees in here, we'll have to take them out. Looks like they'll get taken out by themselves. And a door. So this will get us secure from random animals. Not that this wall didn't, but if we get raided, they'll come on in. They'll get their butts kicked. I'm going to get all these broken down too because they're in our little zone here. All right, that wall mod is great. Look at that. They're not super tough like a wall. They're only 170. A wooden wall is tougher than a granite fence even. But they're cheap. They only cost two material. So there is the first jerk we have to deal with. Where's he at? He's right there. All right, you draft up and come over here. You two draft up and get ready to actually see if you can learn some shooting ability. They're both zeros. So, And we don't have any food storage. Let's put a body storage place over here somewhere. So we'll make that critical, clear, corpses, animals, not insects non-humans okay wait humans are different okay good so somebody will get that put inside hopefully i remember to butcher it before it rots let's not allow rot in there as well there you go all right first thing taken care of this tree needs to come down progress people this is Man, I'm really excited about this. Eventually, we should get a quest from some royal person being chased by a pissed off animal. So there's that. That'll be the first quest. If we have security in place by then, then we're absolutely golden. We're going to have so many chunks, not chunks, blocks, even in the early game, that it's not going to be funny. I'm trying to save the granite so we could do bedroom wall, or the marble so we could do bedroom walls out of them. And let's keep an eyeball on this guy's rotting at the very least we'll get his fur this needs quite a long time you know i think we should actually plant more because I'm pretty sure it's going to get damn cold here before too long and we're going to have a food shortage so i'm going to go ahead and blow this thing up quite a bit if we can get a good rice harvest in we'll do ourselves a favor and that might be 
insane for the number of people we have. But remember, we have to make it all the way through a very harsh winter here. So, all right, well, I'm going to put a break in. That is going to be the end of the first episode. Leave me a comment, suggestions. A like would very much help me out. So if you enjoy this, let me know. I try to cut out a bunch of the menial stuff. If I don't have anything intelligent to add, then I try to just either let them do their thing or <laughs> not even record it if it's just boring tedium. So seems like most people prefer that. And I know when I'm watching playthroughs, I do as well. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please give me a like. It does help me out. I'll see you next time.